Hey y'all, just a southern girl. I can't believe that it was about three o'clock Sunday afternoon and I'm just starting to cook dinner. Yeah, we call it dinner here, not lunch. I'm gonna finally, oh, I'm cooking. <laughs> Sorry y'all, I'm in a hurry. We had a little dryer accident today. I dropped something down in the lint. The lint thingy. Anyway, cooking cheeseburger meatloaf, bacon cheeseburger meatloaf. I can't get a bacon cheeseburger today. I'll just make it into a meatloaf. So I'm going to finally chop about a half a cup of onions. And I've got some oil heating up on the stove. But I'm going to saute it and get it tender. I tell you, I still, I'm starting to find bad onions again. I couldn't find a decent one. I couldn't get organic. Seems to be the only good ones I can find now. But they didn't have any, so I'm, I'm picking through bad onions again. So I'm going to go ahead and get this. This is my block of cheese right here. I'm going to go ahead and get this in the pan over here. We're gonna let that cook for about four minutes. I'm gonna wipe my knife off, rinse it off. <laughs> I hope y'all are doing okay today. I hope everybody's warm. I have literally worked up a sweat here today. I'm gonna take some cheese. I got this off of a block of sharp cheddar. And I'm going to cut it into little blocks. We're going to need about a half a cup of this. That should be about the right size. My hands ain't going to work. Y'all, I don't know how, but I dropped a lid down in <laughs> my lint thing. Where, where the, what you call it, the, the filter goes in. I don't know how it fell down in there. Anyway, we've had a time. Well, my husband's had a time because I didn't know I didn't know how to get it out. Have y'all ever did that? Hmm. I think only I could do something like that. I'm cutting this cheese into little chunks. I'm about to build something with it, ain't I? <laughs> I know I'm not moving fast. I'm hungry and I'm I'm just you know when something like that happens and you and you busy and you got all these things you got planned to do and then it just knocks a wrench throws a wrench in everything and then you just get off track. Well today it was dinner that got off track. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna need this cheeseburger meatloaf. And bacon too. Mm -mm -mm. This might be a little more than half a cup. It might just be just a little bit less, but it calls for half a cup. This is enough. So I have a pound of ground beef. Let me slide this over here. And I'm gonna check my onions right quick and hope that they're ready. I've moved my stuff around in the kitchen. I was on a roll, I'm telling you. I was cleaning my kitchen and organizing. And then that happened. And then my cast iron pan, and I said, well, why not just heat the onions up in it? And I can just wipe it out. All right. Have y'all ever had bacon, cheeseburger, meatloaf? I haven't, but it sure does sound good. I gotta stay off of Pinterest, y'all. I really do. Okay. I always like to get my ground beef to room temperature because it's easier to work with and it, the meat don't seize up on you. Oh, my bacon. 
I gotta get my bacon. It's in the oven. And I'm cooking a whole pack because I'm making quiche either tomorrow or the next day. I know I've been saying I'm gonna make it, but something just keeps happening. I'm gonna get the bacon on the plate. It calls for a half a cup of bacon. I didn't know how to measure that. So I asked, I'm not gonna say this thing's name because it'll start talking. I asked my little person over here and she said that was one and a half slices of bacon and I don't think that is gonna be good. So I'm gonna put three slices in here. I never thought I'd be talking to a machine in my kitchen, but here we are. I'm gonna let this bacon. I'm not cooking it real crunchy like I like it. Cause it'll cook some more in this meatloaf. And with quiche, you don't wanna get it real crunchy. Cause my quiche, I cook it at least 35 or 40 minutes. I made some at Christmas time, y'all. It was good. And I didn't video it. Okay. To this, I'm gonna add. Let me see. And yeah, I've got my recipe right here. Okay, I'm going to add a fourth cup of panko breadcrumbs. And I'm going to add a tablespoon of mustard. I'm just going to eyeball this. We should be able to put pickles in it, but it don't call for that. A tablespoon of mustard. A tablespoon of... The W sauce. All right. I'll put some salt and pepper. I'm going to turn my burner off before I turn, set the kitchen on fire. It's about three fourths of a teaspoon of salt. About a half a teaspoon of pepper. I'm not gonna play with the pepper today because I don't know. Okay, now we gotta add an egg and it's room temperature. And I've never heard of this, but the recipe calls for a tablespoon of water. So I'm gonna do what it says. I ain't never put water in my meatloaf, but here we go. I've heard of milk, but not water. All right. Now we have, we're gonna use ketchup, but not yet. Let's see. I've got the ground beef, and now I've got to do the bacon. I was hoping it would cool off a little bit. I'm gonna get my cutting board back over here since it's still hot. And I'll chop it up instead of crumble it with my hands. At least I don't have to touch it that much. Well, it ain't so hot now. It'll be faster to do it this way. Oh, this bacon smells good. I wish I could just eat this now. I got a hungry husband waiting on Sunday dinner. Bless his heart. <laughs> He's had to go outside. Dig down in the little lint trap in the dryer. I don't know. I guess that's what I get for being in a hurry. There's another piece of bacon. Can't leave that out. I'm putting extra bacon in here, y'all. But I... Does that look like a half a cup to you? I mean, come on. One slice and a half of bacon wouldn't have been... That wouldn't have been enough. Let me just go and show you these. Alexa's are not always correct. Hmm. I don't know that. Well, see. See what I mean? Hmm. All right. I'm going to go ahead. 
I'm doing this with my hands. My hands are clean. And I did just clean my countertop too. I'm going to go ahead and start mixing this. I'm going to do it with a fork first because I'm not putting the cheese in. I'm going to mix this a little bit before I put the cheese and bacon in here. Well, I might not have to put my hands in here after all. I don't like to put my hands in meat, y'all. Looks like I got it, y'all. The main thing is to get it all mixed up good. And to get that egg all through it, because that's what holds it together. And you want to lose it, lose. You want to use a lean ground beef. Nobody likes a greasy meatloaf, and I know this is gonna it's gonna have some grease in it. I can tell already, and it's lean. All right, I'm gonna put my bacon and cheese in here. Fold this in. We want some bacon and cheese in every bite. It would start clumping up when I said that, wouldn't it? Just move it around, y'all. Just move it around. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Okay, y'all heard nothing. I'm gonna turn my water on so I won't have to touch the knobs and contaminate everything. I guess, yeah, it's got eggs in it. Yep. Yeah. It's a little loose for a meatloaf. But we're gonna see. I'm following a recipe, y'all. Okay, this probably will make four little. One, two. Yep. I might need a bigger painting. I'm gonna put these into four little. Mini loaves. Like that. Little baby meatloaves, y'all. Baby meatloaves. I guess this cheese will hold it together better, too. Because I usually use oatmeal in my meatloaf, so this is new to me. Alright, one of them's bigger than the other one. But that's okay, it'll be alright. I hope my little hand's big enough. Because I had planned on just making two little loaves. I got this parchment paper in here, in here to catch a little bit of the, the oil that I know is going to come out of it. If, not, if there's anything, it'll come from the cheese. Just shaping up that little patty a little bit more. I don't think they're going to fit, y'all. And I wanted to use my little pan, uh, my little casserole dish. Nope. And it's not going to fit in here. I'm just going to stick this other one on a, on my bacon dish that I have the bacon on. So I'm going to wash my hands off real quick. I love these little casserole dishes. And dishes that would be perfect for me and my husband. Alright, I'm going to put these in the oven on 350 for about 30 minutes, and if it takes any longer, I'll let you know.
All right, it's been 20 minutes, and I'm going to put about a tablespoon of ketchup on top of these. It said to do it in the beginning, but I don't like to burn my ketchup, so I left it off. I have the other one on a baking sheet in the oven. It took me a few minutes to get it in there after I put these in. I'm sorry if I'm all over the place today, y'all. Whoo we I'll just be glad to eat dinner and just call it a day. They sure do smell good. Alrighty. So I'm going to stick them back in there for about 10 or 15 more minutes. And then we'll make a plate. Alright, they're ready. I cooked them for about 35 minutes. And look at all this fat. So I'm going to let them sit for a minute and drain this out of here. And it's going to be time to eat, y'all. Alright, y'all. It's time to try this. Oh, if I wasn't so hungry, I'd tell you if it smells good. But I can't even smell it right now. I am about to starve. It's still pretty hot. Tastes like a bacon cheeseburger, y'all. Y'all, please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't. And if you like my content, share my, well, share my video, please, y'all. Let me just say it again. I'm so sorry. I've been all over the place. It's been a rough day. Thank you for watching, and y'all, make it some.